dad's really sick. My mom and I are moving in with him. Everyone misses you. Your friends, me. I really like you, and it's been really hard for me. I just think it might be better if we just... You were never there for me, and I don't want to feel that way anymore. You want me to stay? And tell me to stay. Did Hamilton get hot? I've heard from multiple girls around the school about how cute you are. That's what I'm saying! Hot ham! These last few months have been so special to me, and it made me realize there's more to life than the boy next door. What I can't be right now is yours, nor anyone else's. Hey, hey, Attaway. This is your resident DJ, Jesse the Hawk Hawkins. Here's the latest from Sharp Edges. Harmony. Good morning, sunshine. Do you know what day it is? Monday. It's my first day of middle school. That means we can walk to school together. Prime, come on, let's go. You're gonna be late. Remember, student council sign-ups are tomorrow, and now I better get to class. This has been Jesse Hawkins, AKA The Hawk. Enjoy your first day back, Adewinians. I can't. Oh, poor thing. Are you sure it's him? Of course, I'm sure. But it says Jared Danger. That's his stage name? Well, at least he's not on the cover. Page 37 basically is the cover. We can always find somebody new. What about a junior with his own car? I could have been a male model's girlfriend. I could have been Mrs. Jared Danger. Look, I worked at Trey Chic, and trust me, Quinn, you were way better off. The only thing worse than a male model is an aspiring DJ. OK. Hey, I was reading that. Time to study. Finally, you're telling my mom if we're late, not me. Sorry, my dad made us take like a million photos this morning. <laughs> well, TK sent a family picture to the group chat and he literally said, miss y'all. I was like, little bro, don't go all Texas on us now. Rooney. What? Drake, isn't it? Are you nervous to see him? A little. Just hope it's not awkward. Yeah, he didn't take the breakup that well. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, um, I've never seen a guy cry that much. I'll see you at lunch. Dude, the only reason she was talking to you is because she's interested in me. Then why is it that she started following me? To make me jealous. I mean, isn't that right, Flash? Yeah, that's right. Okay, you see. No! Cut it out! All right, mobile games in three weeks. I'm not trying to blow it again this year. Yo, but at least we got our secret weapon back! Yeah, I just hope my knee's back 200%. Yo, it's better than 100. 100,000%, 100, baby! Ain't that right, boys? Yeah! yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh.
Hey, babe. Since when are you practicing? Since the doctor said I could. The school doctor said that you could. The orthopedist said that you had to ease back into it. OK, and that's what I'm doing. I'm easing back into it. 100%. 100,000%, baby. Yo, good work at practice. Excuse me? Go to Lowe's! Let's go, Flash. Welcome back. I hope everyone had a great summer. Take out your books and turn to page 17, because we're going to jump right into talking about our nation's first two political parties. Mm. Who can tell me about the Federalists and their founder, Alexander Hamilton? Hamilton? Quinn, great. Alexander Hamilton was a author of the Federalist Papers and the first Secretary of Treasury. Great. Continue, Quinn. Hamilton was a strong proponent of a strong central government. And he likes Hamilton. This much homework already. I know, it's almost like we're in school or something. Hope you're not expecting me to help you with that. Why are you looking at music equipment? Please tell me you're not buying another amp. Nope, selling. Why? Well, ever since I stopped going on tour with my mom, she kind of cut me off. Oof, harsh. Maybe you could sell that really ugly jacket that you own. Oh, um, that really expensive looking leather. <laughs> Sorry. Honey. Who are you looking at? Nobody, I just really like the skateboards. Since when? It's always. Hamilton will never ride a skateboard. He was too afraid of messing up his bone structure. What happened to Flash? He's like seven feet tall now. It's called a growth spurt. You know, I do kind of wish that I could grow in three, four inches taller. I just want to get two inches shorter. We should trade. OK. <laughs> Hamilton was exactly six feet tall. Huckins in. Sub out Gilbert. Isn't that the guy from the radio station? Oh, that hawk screech is worse than my alarm clock. Ladies, stop the chit-chatting. Ryan, sub in. What happened to you? Basketball. What about you? <laughs> you should have seen the other guy. <laughs> Clearly, I have some more learning to do. Is the nurse? Oh, yeah. She just went to go get more ice packs. I'm Wes, by the way. Ryan. What happened to you? You should see the other guy. What other guy? 
Oh, it's like a figure of speech. Forget it. Welcome back to the Attaway Appeal. As you know, we have a new opening for Editor-in-Chief. Any nominations? I can do it. Right. Anyone else? Arthur? I'm a reporter, Mr. Daniels, and I can't be tied down to my desk. Fair enough. OK, is that it? Rhyme's going to volunteer. What? Great, we got a race on our hand here, folks. Remember, our next meeting, we're going to vote for the editor. So don't be late. Hey, Ron, you got a second? I got to talk to you. If you don't want me to run, I can totally drop No, 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 totally opposite what you think. I read your work last year. I want to let you know I'm going to recommend you for my advanced English section. Advanced? Yeah, it's mostly uh, juniors and seniors. What do you say? You know, sophomore year may not be that bad. Loving the optimism. Freshman year rhyme was kind of jaded, TBH. All right, how was your first day of middle school? I got the lead in the school play. They were holding auditions on the first day of school? That's crazy. Oh, sweetie, when they heard I wanted the role, no one tried out. Stop growing up so fast. You're still my little sister. Only in age and stature. Mom, we're home. Colleen, it's been years. No, I understand that. Well, if she has nowhere else to go. Hey, cousins. Long time no see. Astrid! Harmony! You got so big! I'm in middle school. Hey, is everything okay? It's a long story. I'm gonna be staying here for now. I started out of way tomorrow. That's amazing. So you guys are gonna be sophomores together? Yeah. Do you mind if I stay in your room? TK, are you still friends? <laughs> wow, I, I cannot believe you remember him. <laughs> How can I forget? He was around all the time. TK and the chicken girls were all you ever talked about. <laughs> How is he? I mean, I don't know. He moved to Texas like last year, so we don't really keep in touch. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. But Bertie and Ellie and Quinn still go here, so. I'm excited to see you. <laughs> Is Birdie still bossing everyone around? Well, I mean, not exactly. She's changed a lot. Yeah, I guess a lot has changed since we were 10. Yeah, you can say that. Ty set me up as team manager this season. You never told me how much stuff I'd have to carry. Dude, no offense, but if you're gonna be team manager, you really need to bulk up. I mean, those beds aren't carrying themselves. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I just have to school running block and drills. Don't forget the dummy slash. Are those heavy too? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come in, come on. That's the last bell. We gotta get going. Ryan, great to have you with us. Are you sure you're in the right place? Yeah. Thanks for your concern, Ryan. So we all should have read The Crucible over the summer. Ryan, you can catch up. Oh, that's okay. I read it. It's so dumb that they make me change, even though I can't participate. You yeah, know, right? All right, everybody up. Let's set teams. <laughs> Let's go, people. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
Mind if I join you? Not at all. Why aren't you out there playing? My knee's not 100%, and I definitely don't think it's worth injuring myself all over again over a game of softball. But I thought your knee was better. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants it to be. I don't know, I guess some days are better than others. Yeah, if one more person tells me to be patient, I think I might actually scream. I get that. Trust me, this past year has been one of the longest of my life. But you gotta take it easy on yourself. It's a journey. So, at the end, was John Proctor a good man? Well, I think the real question is, can a good person that makes bad choices be considered good? He cheated on his wife and was like super, super mean to Mary Warren. And I mean, he tried to save Elizabeth, but it's like, dude, too little, too late. Yes, but John did own up to all of his mistakes. He sacrificed his life. I agree with Ryan. Everybody makes mistakes, right? It's the ultimate apology to his wife and to himself. Good job, guys. I can't believe you're an app away. I know. We're longer than just the summer this time. Uh, actually, I have a question for you. Oh, now that I'm a full-time Attaway resident, I kind of need a job. No anyone hiring? Well, there's a slab, but I think with the summer, they're probably a little overbooked on help. Mm. Uh, so maybe juniors? I mean, I know they're always looking. Thanks. Yeah, sure, yeah. Hey, your nose looks good. Excuse me? Your nose from yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's better. I'm still really sorry. No, it's totally fine, forget it. I I'm Jesse, by the way. Oh, you run the radio station, don't you? It's great. Yeah, for now anyways. Oh, is it not doing well? It's just the radio station doesn't get any love from the rest of the students. Nobody cares that it's back. Well, I don't think anybody knows that it's back. If people knew, I'm sure people would listen. Brilliant idea. See you around, Jesse. See ya. Jared Danger to open Detroit Fashion Week with Chinese Chief Design. Mine. Are you listening? What? So Skater Boy is in your English class. Yeah, and he's so smart. He's coming over here. What? Who's just coming over to our table? Hey. Hey. I've been thinking a lot about what you said about the crucible. Do you think he was right? Because I don't know if I could do that. Who? John Proctor, about choosing his dignity over his life. Right. Yeah, that's a tough question. You know, maybe we could discuss it and like study together sometime. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh my god, I think I can do that. <laughs> Hey, how's your first day going? Pretty awkward and boring, but at least the Attaway kids seem a little less pretentious than the kids at Crown Lake. Plus your friend Ellie's been super helpful. Yeah, Attaway's really not that bad. It'll get better, I promise. I'm gonna swing by juniors for something. Do you wanna come? Uh, I actually have my Attaway appeal meeting, but then I can, so. Sounds great. Cool, awesome. Welcome back. Let's start with some pitches for articles and then we'll get to the voting. Anyone? Throw some out. Uh... I heard that all the water fountains are laced with ADHD medication. What? Where? What? What? You know what? Are you I'm not gonna deal with that. Anybody else? Come on, somebody here. Go ahead. I was thinking we could do a who wore it best sort of thing. So basically people vote on what's hot and what's not. Huh, okay. 
How about an idea that won't land you in Principal Mather's office, huh? Yes, go ahead. I think we need to do a weekly column board that ranks Attaway against America's top 100 high schools. Are we in the top 100 high schools? No, and that's the point. We can and will do better. You know, that's good. It's going to be hard to find that data, but I like the inclination. Anything else? Is that it? Come on. What about an advice column to help the students that are struggling? That's a great idea, Ryan. Yeah, what if we did like a fashion column, kind of like what Brittany was saying, just less judgmental. So we could ask students how they use their style to express and represent themselves. That's great. And for a showcase, every week we could meet up with a different student group and interview them. Kind of be a cool way to help them decide on what club they want to join or just other people who have the same interest as them. We could interview the drum club, student council, the radio station. We have a radio station. That is such a great idea, Ryan. Have the students find each other and form the community. Love it. Anything else? Nothing? Okay. It's time to vote. All right, here you go, young man. Thank you. Can I get you something? Do you own the place? <laughs> well, my name is on the front window, so I'd hope so. Oh, uh, hi. Sorry. I, I, was, I was just wondering if you're hiring? I'm sorry, kid. I got half the cheer squad on the payroll these days. <laughs> uh, are you new in town? Uh, I haven't seen you around. Yeah, I used to live in Crown Lake. You don't say. Huh. <laughs> My daughter Nellie graduated Crown Lake in 96. Her mom went there too. Excuse me. Yeah, although I gotta say, Crown Lake's a bit fancy for my liking. My mom worked there, but uh, we definitely aren't fancy. Hang on. On the house. Welcome to Attaway, young lady. Thank you. With astonishing telly, eight to one, your new editor-in-chief, Miss McAdams. Congratulations, Ryan. Welcome. experience in the service industry? No. Hmm. Do you like people? Not really. Have you ever been arrested? Next question. Why do you need a job? Because my mom had a breakdown and then lost our house, and so now I am living with her estranged sister. Hmm. Chocolate or vanilla? And chocolate chip. You're hired, at least temporarily. It appears my guy is late, so we could use the help. Dad, I'm at school. I told you I had the appeal today. I need a ride home. Whatever, just call me back. Sorry, I'm late. Wes, thanks for joining us. This is... Oh, Astrid. M my name is Astrid. Wes, you're going to be training Astrid. <laughs> so, what's up? Hey, hey, Attaway. Jesse the Hawk Hawkins here. 
Don't forget to sign up for Fall Club. So whether you're looking to pad your resumes or get closer to your cute bio partner, don't miss out. And last but not least, Driver's Edge starts today, so if you're 16 or older, sign on up. Everyone else, bug them for rides. Deuces. Well, this article is just going to write itself. Just comes easy to you. That's why you're the editor. Yeah, but I still need to earn the title. And all of the upperclassmen are really not stoked about it. You already earned it. Besides, you must have like a million good ideas. Not exactly, but I do have a main idea and I think I want it to be about an advice column, but it's more of my sister's idea, so. What's it called? Well, we were thinking Hey Harmony, because her name's Harmony and she always has something to talk about. So we would get anonymous letters from people and we would answer their questions. Maybe I could be your first customer. That's sweet, but I'm gonna need a lot of customers for it to be a regular column. And so far I have none. It's not going so well. You never know, maybe they'll just magically appear. All right, well I have to get back to class, but I will send you a few quotes to review before we print the article. Can't wait to never have to ask for a ride again. I don't know, Rune. Look, I know after everything you've been through, this must be scary. Cool, yeah. I mean, it's just every time I like hear a car. Hey, didn't the doctor say you have to be in cars more? <sighs> Can't you just drive me around? Come on, Birdie. I'm gonna be with you every step of the way. I promise. Okay. Okay. How many delegates were at the Constitutional Convention? 55. What year was it? 1787. Right again. Who presided over the convention? Hey, would you guys say I'm more outgoing or more funny? Why? Well, I'm doing a quiz for Trey Chic about what kind of boy band I should be in. Hey, sharper edges. Hey, don't even think about it. Not one bite? Chicken sub looks so good. This is mine, and I need all the energy I can get for this debate today. Also, the answer is George Washington. Quinn. Jared Danger has literally been to every nightclub in New York City. I like his haircut. I, I mean, I mean, it's it's really bad. Like, horrible. It's hated. It. Sorry, I didn't see you there. My bad, sorry, that was like my fault, no. But... How do you like the book? I certainly don't understand why everyone's so obsessed with Daisy Buchanan. She's like, really annoying. What do you think? Keep reading. Honestly, I'm listening to it on tape. I, I know it sounds super nerdy and everything because like, I, I just think it's better when I hear it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that, I find that's cool. Yeah. I don't think it's nerdy at all. So. Yeah. Cool. I'm going this way. So. I am too. Okay. I hope you're all prepared for the first major grade of this class the Federalists versus Republicans debates. You should have all prepared your defenses last night, so let's get started. Driver's Ed. Finally something we can do together. Are you even old enough for Driver's Ed? Ty, you know I'm old for my class, right? You didn't forget my birthday, did you? Of course not. I actually have something really big planned for November 20... 20... 27? It better be huge, Ty. Huge! I believe in states' rights. 
because we don't need some higher power getting involved in making decisions about our lives because we were doing just fine before and now all of a sudden we're expected to check in constantly to tell the government what we're doing, where we're doing it. We are a free state. We are a strong central government. If you take two single states and put them together, they are greater than the sum of their parts. How are they greater if the states forget who they are in the process? Hamilton and the other Federalists just wanted what was best for me. I mean, the country. Say one state really likes sandwiches and the other state happens to be really good at making them. When they come together, they are stronger and they can pool their resources and go out for macchiatos at juniors. I mean, sharing the burden of taxes. Okay, we shouldn't be held accountable for the whole country. We've paid our taxes, that's crazy. Don't be so self-righteous, Jefferson. You're a slaveholder. That's irrelevant. <gasps> no, no, that, that's not irrelevant. It's very important. And I'm not a, making excuses for him whatsoever. That, that topic is out of the conversation. For one, I am sick of being held accountable for the misdeeds of other men around me. Thank you all. I think that's a good place to stop. Really well done, Ellie. I just don't understand why you had to go so hard on me. It wasn't about you, it was about Jefferson and Hamilton. <laughs> why do you keep bringing him up? I'm not bringing him up, Quinn. I gotta go. I, I had to miss school the day after my breakup because my face was so swollen. Couldn't even open my eyes. So yeah, I, I get what you're going through. But look, Ellie's right. I think you need to try and let Hamilton go. How can I? He's everywhere I look. Just erase him from your phone. Look, delete all of your photos together, get rid of social media. You need to do a Hamilton purge. Get rid of it. Hey, we have the newspaper meeting. Not today, boss. What? Driver's ed, for those of us who are 16 and older. Hey, hey, you ready? Who are you texting? No one. You have to be so paranoid. Like, how many times do I have to tell you that I'm not talking to her anymore? I quit the appeal. I'm sorry. I... You're right. I really appreciate you cutting off contact. I'm gonna get a coffee. You want one? Sure. Thanks, babe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Driver's Ed, the most important class you'll ever take because when you get in a vehicle, you don't use your head, you wind up dead. Got it? This is your for real. <laughs> I think he's that serious. Do you think this is a joke? No, no. No, no, sir, I don't. Sorry. You okay? Yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you. 
Okay. Nice of you to grace us with your presence. Sorry. Now, for all present and accounted for, we'll begin today's lesson. Any questions? Yes. Uh, when will we be driving actual cars? When you earn it, Missy. Operating a vehicle is a privilege, not a right. Now, if that's all, let's watch today's safety video. Get your hopes up and run. I lie if I said it ain't fun. I know your type. Lighting up my phone late at night. So good at taking the With most of the upperclassmen at driver's ed, this is going to be a short meeting. In fact, maybe we should just cancel. You're the editor. You tell us. Fine. I guess we can try to go on. Does anybody have any pitches? Arthur. I think the cafeteria food has been laced with GMOs and laxatives. Okay, what makes you say that? Well, there's an online form right here that basically proves it. And Mr. Dukakis has the burger every single day. It spends most of the fourth period in the bathroom. <laughs> Anyone else? All right, how about Hey Harmony suggestions? Do we have any? Uh, one. All right, well, that's a start. What's it about? It's about GMOs and the cafeteria's food. Wonder who that could be from. Oh, me. That's from me. Okay, well, how about you do your research and we'll get back to you. Meeting adjourned. Hey, Queen, uh, can you tell Dad to come get me? Uh, no, it's it's not over. It's just um, I need to get out of here. Texting while driving creates a crash risk 23 times worse than driving while not distracted. That text can wait. Don't drive distracted. They crashed into another car. She's hurt pretty bad. In their first year on the road. Teens are almost 10 times more hey. likely to be in a crash. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Keep it quiet back there. We should be okay, right? We don't know, sweetie. No matter what happens, we need to stick together. How long have you been standing there? I just got home. Why are you on my bed? Too much stuff on mine. But Harmony said she'd help me clean up later. Thanks. It's getting kind of messy in here. No problem. What are you listening to? Just this book my friend recommended. Great Gatsby. Have you read it? Get to pick up your armadillo spirit wear today because tonight is the first game against Millwood. Narrated by yours truly. Go Dillos! And now for a quick plug. High school is rough. We all know that. If you're struggling with anxiety, insecurity, or just have something on your mind, Badaway Appeal's latest and greatest venture, Hey Harmony, is here to help. Go on their website and write an anonymous submission and you'll get the advice and support you need. Looks like she's made herself at home. Yeah, in more ways than one. What do you mean? She's just completely taken over my room. Her stuff is everywhere. She's all 
buddy buddy with you and Quinn and honey. It's, it's weird. Are you sure that's the only thing that's bothering you? Is there something else? You're really quiet today. Is everything okay? Yeah, you know, since the first game back, a little nervous. Ty! Man, ready to kill Millwood, baby? Oh, what up, bro? How's that knee? It's had plenty of time to recover, right? Yeah. Go on Medillos, right? Medillos, baby. Well, I'm gonna get going. I'm just checking in with you. You good? Good, man. Hey, let's kill it today, all right? Let's do that. All right, let's get the dub. Take it easy. All right, Luna. You see? Everyone's counting on me. Because you're the best player on the team. Yeah, before the injury. You're gonna do great. And if you're not ready, everyone will understand. I promise. So we all know by now the characters of the Great Gatsby meet a tragic end. Or we should know. So why do you think the relationship between Daisy and Gatsby, after everything he did to try to get her, ultimately fails? It was fate, like Romeo and Juliet. Mm, not exactly. I just think they weren't a good match. A friend of mine pointed out that Gatsby was deep and Daisy was pretty superficial. Daisy was completely different from the Daisy he remembered from five years ago. I totally agree. Okay, so I guess that tortured and possessive counts as deep now? I mean, Daisy may have been superficial, but it's not her fault that Gatsby went and blew up her life because he was in love with some sort of illusion of her. Go on. I mean, Gatsby wasn't even trying to get to know her. He just was in love with the idea of her and just decided that he had to have her, so he went and blew up both their lives and two people ended up dying. I mean, it's kind of trash, so. That's good, Ryan. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Sorry if I said anything in there that kind of offended you. You seemed pretty heated. No, not at all. I get a little carried away when we talk about those kind of things. Honestly, you made a pretty convincing argument. Thanks. Oh, hey, Ty. What's up? You okay? Just a migraine on top of not sleeping well. Don't you have a game today? Yeah. There was this feeling a little sore. I wanted to cover all my bases. Are you going to be able to play? I hope. Got a lot of people counting on me. That's so much pressure. It's hard having to put on a brave face all the time, pretending that you're OK for other people. Yeah, it is. I just think that if the right to privacy was so important to the founding fathers, that they would have included it in the Constitution. Ever heard of amendments? The Constitution was literally written to be interpreted and adjusted. Without the First Amendment, you wouldn't have the right to speak your opinion right now without being prosecuted, and I wouldn't have the right to vote. Hey, Ellie, uh, will you hang on a moment? I just want to tell you, I think you're doing a wonderful job in my class. Oh, thank you. I was wondering, would you be interested in joining the Debate Society? You've got such a natural talent for it. I'll think about it. Great, drop by. Our first debate is in a few weeks, so let me know soon. Hey, team. Just want to say a few words before we go out there and crush Millwood. Let's go, yeah. baby! Just want to say, Ty, so happy that you're back and that your knee's fully recovered. You're a huge asset to us, man. We can't do this without you. Speech, 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 speech! Thanks, Isaac. I'm glad to be back. I just, uh, I hope I don't let you guys down. Hey, man, how could you? You're a legend, bro. You're gonna be fine out there. Thanks, man. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of this team. All right, so let's go out there today and let's crush those Millwood muskrats with all we got. Let's do that, baby! What do you think of Isaac Jones? Cute. And honestly, hair goals. 
I think my very handsome yet sensitive boyfriend would not appreciate this game. The only handsome guy I know is in New York. You guys are no fun. What's the point of going to a sporting event if you can't talk about how cute the players are, right? <laughs> Speaking of Robbie, I wonder where he is. Shoot, you guys, we forgot to save a seat for Rhyme. Well, if she doesn't get here soon, she's gonna miss the game. Robbie. Oh, Johnny. Good to see you, man. Are you still living with my cousin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is he here? River's not here, but uh, oh. you know, you should come hang out sometime, man. It it is the ultimate bachelor pad. Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll see you after the game. Oh, you mean after Millwood crushes Attaway? Uh, that game? Yeah, I don't know about that. Are you willing to put your money where your mouth is and get in on some action I got going on? Thought you guys weren't doing that anymore. There's nothing wrong with a little wager between friends. Right, we're friends. You want to make a little money? Mm. <sighs> Fine. 20 bucks. Robbie. I was thinking more like 200. 200? That's a lot of money. You got to risk it big to make it big. You want to risk it? Okay. Okay. I'll see you after. See ya. Yeah. It's third down, and Ty Walker is lined up on the outside. It's his first game back, and the Armadillos could really use the speed on this next play. Here we go. Come on, y'all got this. You sure, you're not coming back too soon, Walker. All set. Hold on. Hey. Jones takes the snap. Quick drop. Dirt and throws the flats to Walker. And Walker is flattened. Welcome back, baby. Looks like Walker just did not have the speed there to get away. Oh, last year that would have been a touchdown. And the armadillos are forced to punt. Ah, oh, shoot. You get that one. Let's see. Oh, oh, how about this one? Hey, I I'm sorry about earlier. We totally meant to save you a seat. It's not a big deal. What's up? You seem upset. It's stupid. Come on. It's clearly not. Otherwise, you won't be upset. Well, maybe I was very stupidly jealous of you and Wes. It just kind of feels like you've gotten so close with everybody in my life. Hey, look, Wes and I, are not a thing, so no need to be jealous. And I'm sorry about not keeping your room as clean as I should. I'm working on it. And with your friends, well, I've just never had the kind of friends you do, Rhyme. But I'm not trying to steal anyone from you. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it's, it's so stupid. It's not stupid at all. Cards? Yeah. Who's winning? Probably Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. Yeah.
around. Spin. Jump once. Jump. Pretend you're a scuba diver. Scuba diver. Okay, got it. Ready? Yep, ready? Spin. Jump. jump. Scuba diver. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what comes next? I think it's the pinky promise, so. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> pinky <laughs> promise. Okay, let's try it. Okay. What are you guys up to? Astrid is teaching me your handshake. Okay, let me see. All right. Spin. Spin. Jump. Jump. Scuba dive. <laughs> pinky promise. There we no, go. No, no, no. The pinky promise comes before the scuba dive. Okay. Oh, you're yeah, right. Okay. Spin. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that I still. Know. Can I try? Yeah, let's <laughs> do it really slow. Right, so. Spin. Jump. Pinky. Promise. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's do it again. Yeah. How's my super talented, smart, athletic boyfriend doing? I made you these. What'd I do to deserve these, huh? Nothing. A girl can't make her amazing boyfriend brownies for no reason. Except I think there is a reason. I think you're trying to cheer me up since I botched the Millwood game. It wasn't your fault. No, no, I messed up every single play. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Well, why don't you just try one? There's Luna, some you're more. literally sugarcoating it. I gotta go to class. Ty, wait. Forgot your brownies. Or any of my calls or texts. Mm hmm. Did you hear what I said? Totally. Ellie! I'm sorry, I just, I really have to cram. I told you Miss Henderson asked me to join the debate society. Can we talk about this later? Sure. I'm gonna try. I'll ever laugh again. <clears throat> Quinn, it's time. Time for what? To He's get over Hamilton. Hamilton. Should have stayed home sick like Marie did. Mm. Looks like someone needs a rebound. I second that. Mm. All those in favor? Terrific. <laughs> Motion granted. What about Jesse? Mm, no, I'm not really into that whole hip survive. What about Flash? Never mind. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Wes. Oh, hey, Astrid. What about him? He is pretty cute. I don't think he's your type. Yeah, I work with him at Juniors. I definitely don't think you're compatible. I'm sorry if I'm scaring you. Don't speak my mind as much as you want me to No, I get silent when I lose control I feel much safer when the lights are low Won't hold back I'll be me for you I know there's not somebody who can replace you Pick me up when I'm Okay, today I'm gonna pair you for your book report project 
place to. We got Tiffany and Gina, Brittany and Evan, Wes and Ryan, Julia and Tim. So get together, share your numbers, and bring back a good report. I just wanted to say that I'm super psyched we're partners in English class. You are? Yeah, you're like really smart. Thanks. We are too. Do you want to hang out sometime, like, in a non-school related way? Uh, I am actually, I, th I think I'm busy. Like, all the time? Well, no, I just... I think, maybe. OK. Cool, I will take a maybe. <laughs> cool. All right, well, I got to go. Yeah. Attaway Appeal meeting. See you soon. Uh -huh. Just checking in. I haven't heard from you all day. And I was just wondering if you were going to make it to driver's ed. I hope you are. Anyways, call me back. Hamilton, don't. Don't even say it. He loves Subway. Everyone loves Subway, Quinn. Not just Hamilton. There's a whole entire world outside of him. He's just a man, or just a boy. But chicken subs were our thing. Every time I look at one, I just, I think of him. Then think of someone else. Like who? Here, you uh, forgot your drinks. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Have a good one. How about him? He was looking at me, right? Drink up. We're gonna need another round of sodas. You need to pay up, man. Look, I'm trying to get the money. I need more time. I'll tell you what. You'll have till end of day, and that's because you're a roach. What if I don't want to be a roach? Come here. Toughen up. If you haven't figured it out yet, you're not in Malibu with your mom anymore. So figure it out. Give me my money. Hey, babe. How was your day? You made your day. Luna, I told you I was fine. But you'll always be number one to Luna, me. why can't you just stop? It's too much. Anyone seen Rooney Forrester? How's your day? 
Well, I actually got partnered up to work with Rhyme on this big book report. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's, um, she's really smart. Totally. Do you mind if I, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Wearing a seatbelt is one of the safest choices you can make on the road. They prevent drivers and passengers from being ejected during a crash. They work in tandem with airbags because the force of airbags alone can seriously injure Of all the age groups, teens have the lowest rate of seatbelt use. In fact, teens who say their parents set house rules are twice as likely to Bertie, please stop yelling. I wonder where I get it from. Ew, why are you so sweaty? And encourage their teens to buckle up. Hey, are you okay? Putting the strap below your arm, for example, can also put you at risk. If your car is an older model, you should get a check for seatbelt following. Hey. How are you feeling? Yeah, a little better. More like myself again. This is my life's work, my opus, if you will. <clears throat> Exhibit A, meatloaf served on Mondays at Attaway High School Cafe. Here, the fashion piece on Rhea. Perfect timing. Thank you. I'll take a look at this. I'll get back to you on that. Just hurry up. I have places to be. This is a good start, but I'm thinking that maybe we do one more pass through that's just a little bit nicer. Emphasize her distinctive looks and her bold choices, and don't just judge her style. I think I would know more about style than you. All right, but we are not printing this article like this. So if you want to publish, then you better get me a revised version by tonight. Well, you're the editor. Why don't you do it? Brian, hey, how was the appeal? You know, maybe I'm just not cut out to run a newspaper. Hey, 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 none of that. You're a fearless leader standing at the helm of this prestigious publication, Guiding the Masses. <laughs> You're so weird. You know, I actually need a guy's perspective on something. Oh? You see, there's this guy, and he's super funny, and smart, and so sweet. But two girls like him, and it's never good to let some guy get in between a friendship, right? Go on. All right, well, the first girl doesn't want to hurt the second girl's feelings by going for the guy that they both like. Yeah, that's tough. I guess you, I mean, she should just follow her heart. Thanks. Uh, just looking for you. Okay. Well, I wanted to tell you all about Debate Society. Mrs. Henderson is the best. Really? Talking about how we like to talk in conversations, how beautiful I thought you are. Hey, Harmony. Something happened to me, and I can't talk about it. I don't want to burden my friends, but I'm not sure how much longer I can cope with this alone. I feel like I'm drowning, and I don't know how to ask for air. Thanks for reading. Drowning.
You're drowning. I am so sorry you're struggling. It may feel like you're alone and no one understands, but you're not. And then she said I was one of the most skilled debaters that she's ever come across in her decades of teaching. Me. I just, she really believes in me, you know? I don't think any other teacher has truly noticed my potential like she has. You listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, that, yeah, that's good. It's just, you didn't even notice my outfit today, so. It's a little fancy for school, isn't it? I mean, my first debate's today, so. I gotta wear a power suit. I'm going part Beyonce, part RBG. Looks great. Good morning, Attaway. It's a beautiful fall morning, and I don't know whether it's the crisp weather or the sex ed unit in gym class, but love is in the air. So let's get out there and make the most of it. Yeah! Have you been there? Long enough. Hey. I totally forgot we had sex ed this week. I was in the locker room and like no one was there. I can't believe this is the only gym unit I'm not allowed out of. You look better. Yeah, I took a little break. Just kind of in a funk. Sorry I didn't return your text. Yeah, Miss Dean Driver's Ed. Okay, uh, ladies and gents, and everyone in between. For the next few sessions, we are going to be talking about sex and gender and healthy relationships. As teenagers, you guys are on a raging hormone roller coaster that pretty much won't let off until you're about 25 when things start to level out. So listen up. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I was wondering if I could cash in on that maybe you gave me about hanging out sometime. I'm going to this thing later and I think you should come with me. A thing? Yeah, it's, it's a thing. It's like a storytelling open mic thing. People put their names in a hat and they get selected to come up on stage and read one of their stories and you're a writer, so I thought you might be into it. But if not, it, it, it's no, no, chill. No, 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 I am. It sounds awesome. So you want to come? I I have to check on something, you know, ask my mom. Cool. Yeah. Uh, just uh, mm, let, let me know by the end of the day. Okay. You two would read. One for you. In front of the class, please. <clears throat> hey, girl. Meet me after school, I need to get in my quality time. Sorry, babe, I told the girls I'd hang out with them after school. But I need to see you. Hey, I'm sorry, Miss Trevor's Ed. Don't you wanna see me, baby? It's fine. Of course you okay? I do, but Lucy really needs We can talk to about know. it later. Well, I don't care about Lucy. After school? You need to meet my needs. That'd be great. And you better not be talking to Lucy's brother. Great job, guys. Great job. All right. Well, remember, 
Whatever the relationship. Safe, honest, open communication is crucial to success. And success is essential to happiness. And don't you want to be happy? Can I talk to you about something? Of course. So, well... <sighs> Sorry, I can't get this right. You look great. Why are you obsessing? Easy for you to say. Your hair always looks perfect. <laughs> Not to me it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. We're at school. I have my shift today. <sighs> I know it's gonna sound stupid or whatever, but I've just... I've never felt this way about anyone. You mean? Less, yeah. You've had a lot of boyfriends, so you probably think it's stupid. I have not had a lot of boyfriends. But I just didn't know you felt that way about them. Oh, it's making me crazy. You should wear your hair down. Looks good. Really? Thanks, Brian. Anyway. What did you want to talk about? Nothing. Hey. Hi. I, I read your latest article. Oh, well, that was quick. I read everything you write. You're very thorough. Uh, you, you could say that, that I'm thorough, also reliable and sensitive, but not not in a girly way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I'm fluid, which is a weird word. Uh, I, anyways, I, I have to get back to my um, my book place. The, the whole the whole. Your locker. Whole, yeah, yeah, my locker. See ya. Bye. You need to pay up, man. I'm trying to get the money, I need more time. I was thinking more like 200. Give me my money. Robbie? What are you doing here? Hey. Uh, hey. How is art? Make anything good? No, it's just watched a slideshow about different versions of baby Jesus in the Renaissance period. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, are you mad at me? No, why would you think that? I, I don't know, just checking in. Maybe I've been distracted with other stuff and I haven't been there for you enough or I don't know. No, you're, you're doing you. I think that's great. The last thing I want is to suffocate you with all my problems. But I want to hear all your problems. That's kind of the deal here, OK? OK. I'll talk to you after I made a bait. Yeah, I'm going to knock him dead. So, juniors? Yeah, I'm now. Oh, uh, I forgot my gym bag. I'll be right back, OK? Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's something. You don't look fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I just, I have this mock interview in a few minutes and I look like a basket case, so. No, you don't. A little. Put this under your eyes for 30 seconds. You should be good. Thanks, Rennie. You sure you're okay? I'm not allowed to talk to you. And I'm not okay with that. That's so hard for me. Leave my heart unopened. Close my ears. Don't even notice. I'm scared.
sorry. I should not be burdening you with this. I want you to burden me with this. All this time, I've just wanted to know how you feel. I don't know. I've just been confused. You're confused? You ghosted me without an explanation. I had nobody to talk to. No one. I should hate you right now. But I can't stop thinking about you. I don't know what to do. I choose for you to show me what to do. Somebody tell me what to do. Hey, so what's the verdict? I'm really sorry. I just don't think it's going to work out. I have a lot of work and stuff. Well, that's OK. Maybe next time? You know, maybe you should ask Astrid. She's free tonight after her shift, and I feel like she'd really like it. She would? Yeah. You guys have fun. How'd it go? Not well. I won. Well, that's amazing. I know. I'm one of the few Attaway kids going up against Melwood next week. Well, why aren't you more excited? <sighs> well, the other day after debate let out, Miss Henderson was saying that somebody took money out of her bag. OK. Anyways, I was the last one in the room, so she thinks I did it. Except, um... You weren't the last one in the room. I was. What are you talking about? Dear Drowning, you might feel alone right now, but I promise you that there are people in your life that love you and want to help. All around you, people are fighting their own private battles. And when it feels impossible, Try to remember that what you're going through is temporary. It was me. I stole the money. And how you get through these experiences will inform the person you become for the rest of your life. Ellie, may I speak to you in the hall? I'd like you to move out of my house. Though it might not always seem like it, we're in the trenches with you. I wish you were holding me right now. I think they've really stuck with the more relatable direction you help them land on. I can't say it's necessarily my taste, but as you know, my taste is fairly highbrow for a girl my age. Like I always say, age is just a number. Ooh, I do like that dress, though. Can you keep it down, please? Can you chill out? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. This is the only day that I have to myself without Astrid or boy drama or friend drama, so just shh. I'll get it. My son, be attentive to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding that you may keep discretion and your lips may guard knowledge. For the lips of an adulterous woman hey. drips honey. Really glad you made it. It's not like I have anything better to do. But in the end, she is bitter as gall. Sharp Where's Luna? Um, she bailed last minute. I'm sure her dad is thrilled with that. <laughs> yeah, Reverend Dave isn't too pleased. Now, I don't usually take days off, but it being Sunday and the Crown Lake Car Show, I'm gonna give myself a free pass. There you go. There's a little something extra inside your paychecks. Thank you, Junior. Don't go spending it all in one place. And don't forget to lock up. Have fun at the car show? I plan to. All right, I'm trusting both of you. 
So what are you gonna spend it on? This is leather jacket, vanilla and sage. Yeah, I've been saving up and it'll finally be mine. Nice. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Look what the cat dragged in. Hey, Johnny. Uh, did my cousin tell you I was coming? You know, River said that you'd be crashing with us, but he didn't give me any details. Oh, well, my girlfriend kicks me out of her house. I just need some time to figure things out. Sorry to hear that, man. Feel free, make yourself at home. Our casa is now a Sioux casa. Who's here? And ah! <laughs> Colleen, my darling Rhyme, I've missed you so. You've grown so much, I can't believe it. <laughs> and so have you. <laughs> mm. Is your mom here? No, she's running errands. Good. And Astrid? She's working. She has a job at Juniors. Oh. I'm busy bee. Huh. Well, this is why she hasn't been answering my calls or texts. <clears throat> Show me to the direction of the powder room, mon chavis. <laughs> I have to freshen up. What? Oh, I was just thinking about that story at the open mic last night. No, about the, the, the guy. The guy who stole stuff in his beard? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing when that guy walked in. <laughs> I had such a great time last night. Same. Dude, we just lost the bunker. Get your head in the game. Sorry. So you guys just like do whatever you want, whenever you want? I mean, basically. I mean, it's pretty chill here. Just do your own dishes and do mine. And uh, stay on top of your crap and we'll be cool. Gotcha. So what are you going to do during your two week suspension? I don't know. You want some advice? Sure. Get better at this game, you suck. What did you do to yourself? I don't know. It's okay. Okay, first things first, let's put down the scissors, okay? Oh. We can fix this. We can fix this. I hope. Oh my god, okay. 
It's okay. I'm just so glad Astrid has a role model like you. You're so focused and driven and so well behaved. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Oh, I do? Yes. I loved writing. I wanted to be a poet. But your grandmother wouldn't let me. So I moved to New York. And I met this wonderful artist mentor. And I moved to Paris and Berlin. Wow. Your life seems pretty great. <laughs> it was, sweetie. It really, really was. But enough of my ramblings. Shall we go to Junior's to surprise Astrid? Yeah, uh, I can text her and let her know. Oh, it'll be more fun if we surprise her. So, not too much God stuff. It's kind of nice have an idea of something to believe in. Right? Yeah. And when things start to get really bad, you know, like uh, injuries, you know, breakups, losing people, it's really easy to just want to give up, you know? Maybe even think, like, is this even worth it? I don't know, maybe uh, if there is something bigger out there, you know, at the end of it, it'll all be OK, right? Hey, what's wrong? I know we didn't really hang out much before this semester, but things just kind of seem off with you. I haven't really talked about it with anybody. Well, if you don't want to talk about it. No, I do. I do. I just, I haven't really found the right person to turn to. I'm all ears. Ever since the accident, I thought everything was OK, and I, get, I just kept having these nightmares, and I just can't find a way to make it stop. Hey, it's OK. It's OK. Hey, Brian. Hey, is Astrid here? This is her mom, Colleen. Um, actually, she just went on break. Aren't you a handsome boy? I bet Astrid has a big crush on you. So, have you liked working with my daughter? Yeah. She's great. <laughs> well, be careful. I just wouldn't want to see a sweet boy like yourself getting hurt. You know what, Aunt Colleen, we can just meet Astrid back at the house. Nonsense. She's just on a quick break. She'll be back any second, right, Wesley? It's actually just Wes. You two would make an adorable couple, actually. See? I fixed it. Looks good. OK. Now, can you please tell me what's going on? I know this isn't about Drake. You're right. It's not. What is it then? Come on, I'm your sister. You can tell me anything. I got a secret. I want you to keep I'm in love with someone. Who is he? It's a she. Stephanie. OK. Well, that's cool. It's not cool. She's dating someone else. I'm here for you. No matter what, I'll help you through this. Thank you for telling me. I love you. I love you, too. I was only a little older than you in this one. Wow, you look just like Astrid. <laughs> I think I was a little prettier. Oh, 
Brian, are you feeling well? You look a little pale. Yeah, you know, all of a sudden, I don't feel the greatest. Oh, no. Do you want some water? No, no, I'm good. Huh. It's just like a stomach thing, so I think maybe we should go. Oh, well, you're no fun. All right, fine, we'll go. Bye, Wes. Tell Astrid I stop by, will you? Sure thing. All right. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. I didn't realize. No, it's okay. She's awful. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just really glad I have you. Say something? No, I, I mean. What? Uh, did you think that the storytelling thing last night was a date? Was it? Oh. I really like you, Astrid. You're super cool and fun to hang out with, but I. I just don't think that I'm really ready for a relationship right now. Yeah, thanks for being honest. I think I'm gonna head out early if you don't mind. Somebody tell me what to do. Brady, that's not what this is. I'm in love with Luna. I just thought... You thought wrong. <sighs> Somebody tell me what to do. Was that my mom? Yep. That's Molly. That's your grandmother over there. And that's me next to your mom. You guys look so happy. Yeah. Life before having a kid on your own is a lot easier. Especially when that kid's so difficult. I always wonder what life would have been like if I hadn't had him. Astrid! My darling! What are you doing here, Mom? <laughs> a mom needs a reason to visit her only child? <laughs> Can I talk to you? Alone. Please. I'm gonna ask you again. Why are you here? I wanted to see you. God, Mom, can you stop lying for once in your life? I know why you're here. What are you looking at? Spike? What are you doing here? Said you missed me. So you just show up at my house? What about the tour? I wanted to see you. From the looks. <laughs> Could use a ride. So, how is church? Did you still get something out of it without me there? What? Why are you asking that? Just making conversation. Oh. Sorry. 
I am. Um, yeah, it was it was fine. Look, I know you're upset about the whole brownie and pity party approach, but if there's something that you want to talk to me about, you can. I know that. It's just that you're like suspiciously quiet, and it's kind of freaking me out. Maybe I'm just nervous about the game, you know? Recruiters are coming and all that stuff. Well, it's normal to be nervous. It's something that is important to you and that you want to go well, which it will. Thanks, Luna. Anything else up? No. That's really it. Thanks for the ride. It was really good seeing you, Brady. It was good seeing you, too. I can't. Please? But I'm here for you. I know. That's why I came back. So that we could start fresh. No, Spike, that's not why I texted you. I mean, of course I miss you. But... But? But, but I think I moved on. I don't believe that for a second. We'll believe it. I think we should just be friends. We can't be friends. I know you still love me. I know you do. Well, I kissed somebody else. Who? It doesn't matter who. I just said that because I don't want you to live in that fantasy world anymore where we're still in love with each other, OK? It's the only reason I said that. Who, Birdie? It doesn't matter. I gotta go. Thanks for the ride. Sorry. Just let me explain. Huh? What are you even doing? Yeah, I don't know what you're not talking about. Hey. Hi. I wanted to talk to you. Oh. Now you want to talk to me. Cool. Yeah, and it's important. What's with the attitude? Is it about Stephanie? Yeah, how'd you know? Hey, Ty! Spike! Stop! Get Stop! Off me. Please! Get off of me! Please, just get go. off of me! Hold on. Kiss my girl? Kiss my girl, bro? Never Both kiss your girl, man. Kiss my girl? Never get back up off oh, me. Oh, so you're lying to me. Stop. Get up off me. Get away from me, bro. Stop. What do you do, bro? Get up off me, bro. So she's alive. Get away from me. She's alive. What is your problem? Get up. Ty, what is he talking about? It's not what it looks like. I was gonna tell you, but. Can we just talk about this in private? Keep walking. Lie. Keep walking. Someone... Oh, am I embarrassing you? Am I making too much of a scene? Sorry this is so hard for you. Luna. You just keep walking, please. <sighs> All right, which long response question should we pick? What about the ones about themes and motifs? I love a good motif. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you want to focus on the theme of rivalry or something else? Cause... No, that sounds good. I guess you saw that. Yeah. But like no judgment or anything. We've all been there. Just kind of surprises me because you know all the material and you're super smart, so. Yeah. Uh, I guess I just have all these ideas in my head and I can't put them on paper or something that's lost in the translation, so. Actually, can I level with you? Sure. I am actually dyslexic. I haven't really told many people, but that's why I listen to audiobooks all the time, because it's just easier for me. Thanks for telling me. It's super cool that you trust me like that. I do trust you. 
You're a really cool girl, right? Do you think it's an actual fire? No, it's it's probably just a drug. Okay. You should give some ice on that. It's fine. What were you thinking? I was thinking I still love you. And I wanted to kill that guy. All I can think about is you guys just kissing. He didn't even kiss me back. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Brody, why did you even want to see me? Because there's something wrong with my brain from the accident. And I, I, I thought it was getting better. But it's, it's not. And it's, I just keep having nightmares. I have them too. You do? Yeah. I went to the doctors and they said I have this PTSD. Loud noises or car horns. Even driving was giving me the worst panic attacks. I couldn't get behind the wheel of a car for three months. I thought I was the only one. Were you not? Fine. I refuse to give him the satisfaction of seeing me cry. Listen, Luna, I saw what happened between Birdie and Ty. What? Well, I was at church too. Um, I saw them, but they didn't see me. They were just sitting together, and it all just kind of happened. But it was all Birdie. I mean, Ty didn't really kiss her back. Didn't really kiss her. I mean, I don't think he saw it coming. Can you just stay out of my business? Hey, you. Hey. What's up? Your vibe's off. My, my vibe is off? Yeah, you seem a little down or something. Yeah, I, I guess I am. Well, I'm all ears if you want to talk about it. Things have just been really weird between me and Astrid. She's going through some pretty heavy family stuff, and I don't know how to help her. Well, we're just in high school. We're not supposed to have all the answers, right? especially when it comes to the heavy stuff. Hello, and welcome to the first regional debate between Attaway and Millwood. Representing the Millwood Debate Society, we have Calvin. <laughs> and from Attaway, we have Ellie Mack. Today's debate topic, is it ever morally acceptable to withhold the truth? Representing. All right, come on guys, let's get ready. We got a big game today. Okay, everybody better be decent and if you're not well, you've been warned. Jesus, Luna, you can't just barge into the boys locker room like this. Okay, well I just did. Everyone that isn't Ty, get out. What? Out! Hey, you know I could have met you somewhere other than the boys' locker room, right? Yeah, well, the game's about to start and it's gonna be quick. Look, I'm so sorry, Luna. Not, I... not now, Ty. We'll talk about all that later, but I just wanted to tell you that I'll be out in this dance cheering you on. I know how important this game is to you, and I don't want our drama to stand in your way. Thank you so much. That means the world to me, Luna. Not now, Ty. Like I said, we'll talk about all that later. But just go out there and focus on the game, OK? Thanks for, thanks for, thank you for driving all this way. I guess I'll see you when I see you. 
Bertie, wait, wait. I'll move back to Attaway. We'll start new. I still love you. I love you too, but I'm not in love with you. It took a very, very long time for me to get to that place. And I know it's hard, but I just I think you should go, okay? You know this would never work. It's in my cell, not okay. No situation is black or white. Life is full of gray areas. We can't possibly set a steadfast moral standard and say that any kind of lack or omission of truth is ethically wrong. If it is to reduce harm, it is potentially morally excusable. That's where I'd have to strongly disagree with you. Relationships are built on the foundation of trust. Without trust, we have nothing. Even a white lie can cause that foundation to crumble. We second guess everything we encounter and everything we're told. If we can't take anything at face value, then we would end up in a deeply paranoid, confused, and broken relationship. In conclusion, I would have to agree with the philosopher Immanuel Kant that lying could cause the complete collapse of I'm sorry, <laughs> I just can't. All right, so, chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? I'm not hungry. Come on, you don't want this Soft, gooey perfection. Mm -hmm. They're your favorite. Look, it's very nice of you guys to try and cheer me up, but a cookie's not gonna fix anything. No, but I mean, it definitely helps. I just can't believe I blew it. You didn't blow it. Mm. You were amazing. You were confident, mm. articulate. Yeah. And... Hysterical. Come on, Ellie. Most of us would never even have the courage to get up there. Mm. Or to do what you did with Robbie. She's right. You were so brave. You really think so? Yes. Of course we do. He's all really good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The flash won't shut. Want me to try? What happened? Mel knocked into me this morning and I dropped it. I'm really sorry. She's upset. It doesn't give her the right. She's upset that I broke up with her. Oh, you didn't? on this dark lover's lane, and they heard a rattling on the side of the car. Now, the woman had heard on the news that this convict with a hook for a hand had recently escaped the local asylum. So she's begging her boyfriend to take her home, but he won't listen. He wants to keep necking, or whatever they called it. <gasps> no! That pushy idiot. No means no. Wait, necking? 
that's what they called kissing back then. Anyway, so this time she hears a rattle on her car door handle and she freaks. She demands that her boyfriend take her home. So he does, but he's angry. He screeches out of the lane, takes her home. They don't talk. He pulls up in front of her house. She gets out of the car. She slams the door and screams. What happened? There was a bloody hook hanging from the door handle. I feel so bad being here without Ellie. She would love this. I know, but she did give us her blessing. She's probably having fun tonight, too. Those traitors. You guys are so cute. You guys remind me of my friends and I when we were your age. Before there was drama and boyfriends and theft. Okay, I have one. But mine's not a ghost story. It's just a creepy thing that happened to me. But I'm not even sure if I should tell it. Okay, now you have to tell it. She's just amping herself up. So transparent. Stop ruining our fun. <laughs> Go ahead, Astrid. Okay. Well, last year on Halloween, I went with a couple of Crown Lake girls and some guys from the boys' boarding school and met up in the cemetery. You know, I'm gonna uh, go get some more drinks. I'll be right back. The girls convinced me to wait until midnight to knock on the door of this mausoleum. Supposedly, if you knock three times, right at midnight, the ghost of this little girl would knock back. So, I waited until midnight, just when it turned 12. I knocked three times. And I waited. But nothing happened. I waited 15 minutes just to prove I wasn't afraid. By that time, all the other girls had left, leaving me alone. Thought it was just a stupid prank. But when I got back to my dorm that night, just as I got into bed, I heard a deafening knock. 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 Right on my door. I froze. It must have been those girls playing a trick on you. Yeah, I thought so too. I didn't even get up to check. The thing is, the knocking hasn't stopped. What? What do you mean? I hear it. At midnight. Almost every night. Even after I left Crown Lake. Whoa, you, you still, you hear the knocking at my house? Honestly, yeah. I didn't tell you because I thought you'd think I was crazy. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. But the thing is, the girl that got locked in the mausoleum eventually got out. She never stopped trying to get revenge on the girls who put her in there. Dude, the lights went out. It's probably somebody messing with us. No. The speakers went out, so it's a power outage. Well, if it's a power outage, the whole block might be out. A power outage? In the middle of a story? No. Something's going on. Right. It's the escape ghost girl from the story. Ooh. <sighs> Don't be mean. We can just figure out a way to get the lights back on. Where did Robbie go? He went to get another drink. Maybe he turned the light out as a joke. Hey, Robbie. You can stop messing with us, man. You got us. Robbie? What was that noise? I'm sure he just dropped something. It's dark. 
Okay, then one of us needs to go and help him find the fuse box. No, we are staying together. You guys know what happens in scary movies when they split up? This isn't a scary movie, Quinn. <sighs> Jesse! Don't do that! Not funny. Sorry, she's too easy. I'll go find Robbie and see if he needs help. Isn't it a little late to be trick-or-treating? Haven't you been here before? Uh, nope. Yes, you have! Oh my god, you're the giraffe! How many times have you been here? A few. Listen, you can't do that! This is Premier Candy, and I've spent all day bagging it. Yeah, why do you think I keep coming back? I'm not gonna waste my time on some fun-sized trash. I mean, come on. What's wrong with you? Carpe diem, man. Ah! That's one man to you. It probably just takes a long time to find the fuse box in the dark. Right, guys? Well, guys, this isn't funny anymore. You guys, Robbie isn't here and I think someone's outside. What? No. Robbie wouldn't leave his own party. Well, I looked everywhere and then I heard voices outside. He's not answering his phone either. You know, maybe it's just Johnny. Or Robbie's jerk cousin. Maybe they just convinced Robbie to freak us out, so he's hiding outside and making noises. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. I looked but didn't see anyone. Is that knocking? You guys heard that too, right? Yes, we heard it. You know what? Had enough of this. I'm going out there myself. I'll go with you. You guys? What? That's not Robbie's cousin. He just posted a pic with Johnny four minutes ago. They're at a Millwood party. Where do you think the fuse box is? Could be anywhere. Be careful. Somebody's probably waiting around a corner to scare you. <laughs> I'm not jumpy. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. So then he moved in with his friend Johnny and cousin River, who is an overall nightmare and a terrible influence. That's not a good sign. I know. I know he's like a completely different person. That sucks. Are you really not going to give me another bag? And on top of it all, he's throwing a party tonight, and all my friends went without me. Are you kidding? I mean, I told him to go ahead and do it, but... Still, like, I'm here, alone. No, I get it. All my friends think we're too old for trick-or-treating. They didn't make fun of me if they even knew. Well, you are a little old. Yeah. I should probably just go home. Wait. So early. <laughs> Strange. Still in the fuse box. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Oh, I have to tell you something. Okay. So, a few weeks ago, I got an email about an art contest, and 
I was just gonna delete it. But then I saw that the winner gets to premiere their art in a gallery for a month. So you entered it? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. For you. I entered your work and you won. What? Crazy, I'm not staying in here to die. You were the one who told us to stick together. Okay, well, it's all of us for ourselves now. Sorry, I'm going out there. Flash, wanna come? Why me and not me? Because Flash is taller. Robbie. Why are you, man? This is getting a little bit old. Flash, what is this? Oh my god. No! 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 Ah! Oh my, what was that? I, I don't know, but it rhymes. What? My arm. Oh, sorry. I think I'll go check on the others. Arthur, do you want to come? Oh my god, I forgot you were here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go. Yeah. Guess we'll hold down the fort. What's happening? Someone is messing with us. They wrote that message on the wall. Way too late for trick or treating. I've seen that before. This is so messed up. Oh, guys. What is that? Oh, that's, oh. It's a good one, Robbie. Robbie, stop. I seriously can't handle it anymore. I have a feeling Robbie's taller than that. Look. I told you, I'm out of candy. Go home. Everybody calm down. That's definitely not Robbie. Astrid, is that you? Um, uh, what's going on now? Harmony? How you did this? <laughs> oh, you guys fell for it. You're so stupid, both of you. You really are a criminal mastermind. Ready? Oh my God, you guys are so good. Yeah, that was good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Look, I know you have a really big decision to make, and I don't want to undermine your time. But I think you should know the facts. I'm listening? To be totally truthful and honest, this one only has a 70% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's severely underrated. And this one, it's bad too, but it stars Hugh Grant, so you can't go wrong. You really messed up. I know. Please don't do it again. Morning. Isn't it? A beautiful morning. I guess. Where's Ryan? I didn't see her this morning. She left early to school to work on an English project. <laughs> Bye. Uh, 
I hope Mr. Daniels doesn't think our take on Finny and Jean is too controversial. Profound romantic undertones. I doubt I'll object. Well said. You wrote it. I thought you did. <laughs> yeah, so I think we did pretty good. How do you feel about it? I think we make a great team. Hey, guys. Hey, Astrid. What's up? Oh, not much. Just thought I'd stop by the library before class. I love books. Uh, Ryan, can I talk to you for a second? So I'll see you later then. See you later, Wes. What? Why didn't you tell me you were leaving early this morning? I didn't think I had to tell you everything. I think it was because you were hanging out with Wes. We're just English partners. Look, I see the way you look at him, Rhyme. Don't play dumb. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know how much I like him. You're being really intense right now. I have to get to class. Howdy, partner. Howdy? Yeah, weird greeting. I was just trying something out. <coughs> Are you okay? I I'm totally fine. Uh, I was just, I was just wondering if you'd like to, or want to go to the, uh, the um, the ga the gallery thing today. <laughs> Why are you being so weird? Yeah, I'll be there. You should get that cough checked out. Idiot. What? N nothing. Don't mind me. Luna, I... Luna, wait. Luna, stop. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Anything interesting? I just feel so bad for this person who wrote the Hey Harmony. I mean, she's under so much pressure from her parents. Oh, that's from Brittany. Arthur, they're supposed to be anonymous. Arthur, what the heck? Sorry, I edit your articles and you always spell judgmental wrong, which is pretty funny for someone who is so judgmental. Okay, well, a lot of people spell that word wrong. Wait, hold on. Hey. What? I'm sorry that we got off on the wrong foot this semester. Junior year seems really difficult with all the college prep and stuff, so I completely understand why you wanted to be editor in chief. I needed it to get into a good college, or my mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, but you do like seven other extracurriculars. Any college would be lucky to have you. I hope. No, I know. Thanks for checking in on me. Yeah, of course, it's my job. And if you think about it, it's, it's a pretty big job. It may require some help. So, how do you feel about being co-editor-in-chief? Really? Yeah. I'd like that. with those? I didn't think you were gonna come. What are you talking about? I wouldn't miss it. I thought you were mad. I mean, I was hurt that you didn't tell me such a big thing. It's just 
complicated and I was confused. I get it. You think it's weird? No. I don't care who you're with, Rooney. As long as they treat you right. Thanks. So, what's up with you? Hey, Jesse, what are you doing here? Oh, um, I thought we were going to the gallery thing together. Oh, you meant like actually go together. I, I didn't realize, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I was in the neighborhood and it's no big deal. Really, don't you live near the gallery? Well, I'm ready to go if you are. Uh, here. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just not really a PDA kind of girl. Yeah, you had no problem kissing Draco, your sweet 16. I don't want to fight right now. I, I understand if you don't want to go public yet. I mean, I just think this is- Really? <laughs> you made it! It looks so good in here. Thank you, thank you for so coming. Talented. Wait, are you, are you nervous? Yes, but I'm excited. I believe in you, oh my gosh, this thank is so you. exciting. Ty? Hello? Over here. Hi. Hi. What's going on? My eye is immediately drawn to how the model positions her hands. But then again, her here subjects immediately pull my eye away. Oh, she really should have applied the rule of thirds. Disagree, Rhyme? Totally. Who are you looking for? Nobody. Ah. Uh, well, I, I wanted to say how sorry I am for what happened with Pretty. Um, and I, I'm not going to sit here and, and make excuses. Um, but for the record, she kissed me. Um, but I shouldn't even have been in that situation to start with. So. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Okay. Well, um, look, I want to be with you. I, I want to kiss you. I want you to visit me next year at Provincetown. And I want you to have this. Oh, God, Ty, are you proposing? Because we're still kids. Oh, no, 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 definitely not, no. Um, it's, it's a promise ring, okay? I, I promise that you will be the only girl in my life. Woman. <laughs> um, you mean everything to me. And I love you, Luna. Do you forgive me? I love you too. Hey, been looking for you. Me? You. Do you want to get a drink or something? I'm jonesing for a soda. I'm okay. Thank you though. I'm really not thirsty. <laughs> thirsty? Oh, hey, it's, it's you. Hey, your friend Rooney is very talented. She is, isn't she? You are staring at me. 
Yeah, um, I've been finding myself doing a lot of that lately. I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, ever since we met in the nurse's office, I thought you were awesome. Bloody knows and all. I don't know if you're into me or if there's like someone else or, you know, if there's like a thing. No, and... well, I mean, it's, it's sort of. I'd really like to take you on a date, Ryan. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't just come over to someone else's date and ask them out. That's not cool. Oh, I didn't realize that you two were on a we date. We aren't, we aren't on a date, right? Oh my, oh no, I. Wow, I guess it was what I thought all along. Astrid, come on. Uh, hello, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming and seeing and supporting my work. It, it really means the world. Um, I wouldn't be here without my amazing friend, girlfriend, Stephanie. She was the one that submitted my portfolio to the contest. Um, I'm really grateful that she believes in me. Anyway, um, go enjoy. Thank you for coming. My Thanksgiving playing softball. I hate softball. Playing sports on Thanksgiving is like a tradition. It's not my tradition. Can we at least pretend like we're having a good time? Please? Anyone want an orange slice? Amazing. What? That you remember orange slices, but you don't remember that I it's... forgot for one hour. It's our one year anniversary. And it's on Thanksgiving. How do you forget? I said I'm sorry. I'll take an orange slice. Mm. Oh, great. You're here, too. Yeah, I'm here. Do you have a problem with that? I've got 99 problems with you, starting with that zebra shirt. Listen, man, I didn't mean to step on any toes. Don't listen, man, me. I'm not your man or your bro. I just care about rhyme. I put the time in. Uh, Jesse? What? <laughs> this is going to be awkward. Welcome, everyone, to our annual Thanksgiving pickup softball game. Remember to stretch and to stay hydrated because we're not just playing for kicks. This game will distinguish the winners from the losers. We're playing for glory and for... And we're, we're playing for fun. Okay, so thank you again, everybody, for coming out. Now to help us pick teams. Heads for Luna and tails for Ty. Good luck, babe. You're gonna need it. We'll see about that. This is so stupid. Nobody's making me be here, you know. My mom bailed on me for Thanksgiving once again. So yeah, Ryan, I have to be here. You know that you struck me down. The words won't come off my tongue. You know I've been watching oh. for so long. Hey, thought you were going to the softball game. <laughs> Without you? <sighs> How you feeling? <sighs> Pretty good, actually. Just not really ready to face organized sports. Or Luna. <laughs> Listen up, guys. We've got the sun at our backs for the first half, so we have to use that to our advantage. Jesse, you take the mound. Wes, you go to first. Robbie, second. I'll take third. What about me? You take the outfield, OK? We've got to cream them. Let's try to have fun out there today, guys. Rhyme, you're up. Ashton, you're on deck. Right. Story of my life. Hey, Jesse, no nose balls this time. But listen, I would never do anything to hurt her. Her nose, or, or any other part of her body. Play ball! Yes, go, go, go! 
Well played. Thanks. Congratulations, now you have something to celebrate today. not be on this base with you. Listen, I never meant to come between you and Ryan. I hope we can start over. I really like having you as a friend. I, I don't want to be your friend. Astrid. Go! Go to third! No, don't go! Yo, Astrid, what are you doing? Jesse, they're stealing second and third. Robbie! Want to see something? The official license will come in next week. You did it? I'm so proud of you. To be honest, didn't even think I had the nerve. Hey, you have more nerve than anybody I know. Come on, I want to say something else. Ta-da! Is this yours? Yep. My mom said it's the safest used car in Ottawa. <laughs> Wanna go for a ride? Only if you're driving. Okay. There are ways the game should be played, you know. There are rules. Since when do rules mean anything to you? You do whatever you want. What do you mean? What rules have I broken? There are unwritten rules about family and friends. And guys, look, you broke those rules and you lied about it. I made you something. Thanks. Are you really gonna stay mad at me all day? That's two outs and the score is three to one. A home run wins. Go Flash, you got this man, just keep your eye on the ball. Ready to taste defeat? <laughs> Don't count your chickens before they hatch. This whole year I've been trying to help you. Help me. You let me think Wes liked me, when this whole time you had something going on behind my back. Are you kidding? This whole semester I've been terrified of hurting you. I liked him, okay, I wanted to date him, but I didn't because of you and I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just 
don't understand why you're making such a big deal out of this, especially with everything that's happened this year. I'm making a big deal out of it because of everything that's happened this year. What, that we managed to stay together for a whole year if you don't count the break? I don't count the break. And it symbolizes our love. I love you, Kelly. Sorry, okay? Yeah, me too. I didn't mean to hurt you. I know that. It's been a hard year. But I never wanted to blow up your life. You didn't blow up my life. You just made it interesting. Right. <laughs> like, I'm glad you're here. I really am. No, don't make the wrong decision. I feel like you and I loved in a lot. Are you okay? Yes, my knee. It'll be okay. Without you. Why am I so scared of forever? If I feel so safe tonight, you just make me feel You drop this. Thanks. You see, it's a symbol of our love. I love you, Robbie. And I'm sorry, I didn't say it before. You kind of caught me off guard, but I love you. I'm gonna go congratulate the others. Good game. Thanks. Did you mean all that stuff you said earlier? Yeah, I did. Does that mean you might wanna hang out sometime? Like, on a date. Date sounds nice. It's time to make a change. No one can stay the same when people try to knock us down. See me? Of course. I just didn't know you were coming home for the holidays. I'm not just here for the holidays. I'm here for good. I go, you go. 